We're better to monitor the battle than on healing duty.
give it a good one over. Final. The place of hope. Like that man said. Things really real. <laughs> I'm starting to get butterflies. A good place to have a rest. Better make sure we're well rested. Another bite. Right then, should we get a move on?
unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Oh, whack them good. I'll draw them. Smooth as always, Noah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be black. I don't fear them. So free. Now I'm ready to make some waves. It's just up ahead. Whoa, Whoa. what's with that one? Look at this. Oh, but aren't you a ginormous sparker? Whoa, where's the top? We finally made it, huh? Quite. <sighs> Let's get to the base of the sword. Guernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa, that's one for the books. Shut up. Lance is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled. What's wrong? Mio? I hear a strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Those Levnesses. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means... The name's Monica. Monica Vanden. The man who entrusted Ouroboros to you. I'm his daughter. Daughter? You know Guernica. You're headed for the city, ain't you? How do you...? That's our base of operations. Come on. What? Shania, take point. Yeah, all right. Stay close.
Good to add more names. Oops, they found us. Go! Enemy, I'll keep up the attack. Leave as always, Noah. Only you didn't charge off on your own. Huh? Is that? Guys, get ready to fight. Gale Slayer! Following Shania, will you? We'll talk more later. Sweet, let's poke her out. to see, huh? What a brilliant contraption. No wonder nobody's ever found it. Is this, like, <laughs> a you rare You better thing? save some of that surprise.
Well, we've been found. Demon Slayer! 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 Demon and I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. Wow. This place was inside the Great Sword all along? Save a bit of surprise, I said. Better give it a good once over. So, Guernica, that's that wrinkly guy back then. Yeah. You said you were his daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. I'll explain later. Later meaning in the city? That's where the elevator's taking us. <sighs> You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those? Put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Mobius's? When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so, we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? <sighs> we'll go with that. Sorry? You see... We're bound by Ouroboros blood. Just what are you? <laughs> We're so high up! What a view! I've never seen anything like it. Certainly takes your breath away. Can you save your observations for later? Come on! Fight with focus! Stay on your toes! Go on, on You're on fire, lad! Extended track! Extended track! Gale track! We're not you, lad! Cobra ball! Cobra ball! Cobra ball! Cobra ball! And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. Huh? Is that? Lewis Castle has got nothing on this busy in height. Demon of the Ever the paragon. Energy grenade. A Send it Together. Get off! 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 Get off!
you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Um, my head kind of hurts. Ah, yeah. That happens when you gain altitude fast. Don't worry, it'll subside. Charge off on your own. Entrance is up ahead. Okay, I'll say what everyone's thinking. This is all sparking amazing! Time for the morning workout. long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes. They look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay, then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon, for looking out for us. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'll follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. More colonies added. Bigger than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Ouroboros. Ouroboros, yeah. So they're Ouroboros? And they're from Kevis and Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. There could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey. 
Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. Mananas by tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? Huh? You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates? You happy? That you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> All right, that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose them. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Vanden. Uh, all right then. Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. Good to add more names. I'll introduce you to them another time. All right. Good to add more names. Better make sure we're well rested. I'll start, shall I? This has me raring to go. Can't wait to see how Manana prepares it. Let's bounce. Good to add more names. You, um... You said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why... why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I'd been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. It kind of looked that way. That's a little... too harsh. <laughs> Sorry. Poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. I see some relations of... Now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right. At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. I see some relations have check. changed. I see some relations have changed.
We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? earlier. You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? Aren't those... Cradles. Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth. Trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius's shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh, right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. We're born to fight, and then we die, over and over and over. I can hardly believe it, but it was Ethel, without a doubt.
Where are we? This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Uh, uh. Gently now. Turn. <laughs> this is incredible, Senna. Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. All right then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? Hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up!
This is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenceless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Thank you. I mean it. Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. Or it might be that you already do. Tyon, look. Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros? That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... I don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes, their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving. It took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the Queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real Queens. Yes, real Queens!
I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old. They're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Mm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years, you kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so... precious. Looks like colony relations have changed. 